What's up guys, David here, and I know, this drop test is late. In fact, I was thinking about skipping it altogether, but you guys have been persistent asking for the Galaxy S8 drop test in the comments, you've been messaging me on Facebook, you've been hitting me up on Twitter, so you know what? Maybe it's better late than never. If you guys like these fumble style drop tests and wanna see more, and hopefully sooner, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. If this video hits 10,000 likes, I'll do the OnePlus 5 drop test next. Now, as many of you guys know, here at Fumble, we work independently of manufacturers. We buy almost every phone you see here on the channel. So when we do drop tests like this, it can get expensive. So I wanna give a big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Whether you need a domain, websites, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. They've got tons of beautiful templates that look great whether you're on a desktop or on a smartphone. They have award-winning 24-7 customer service. And let me just tell you guys, I've made quite a few websites over the years. And when we switched phonebook.com over to Squarespace, it was like the easiest and most seamless experience I've ever had building a website. Everything is drag and drop. It's an all-in-one platform, so you don't have to worry about things like updates. So if you're looking to do anything, whether it's start a blog, have a place to put up your designs, or make a website for your restaurant, whatever it is, Squarespace can help you make your next move. You can start your free trial today at squarespace.com slash phonebuff and enter offer code phonebuff to get 10% off of your first purchase. I'll have all the information and links that you need down below in the description, so check it out. But with that said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Round number one, backdrop. Three, two, one. Okay, so after that backdrop, the iPhone 7 only suffers a small little scuff by its camera, while the Galaxy S8, being the all glass phone that it is, gets its back glass cracked. It's not the worst crack in the world, but definitely something you wouldn't want to happen to your seven or $800 phone, giving the clear advantage by a huge margin to the iPhone in round number one. Round number two, corner drop. In three, two, one. Oof. That corner drop surprisingly didn't do too much damage to either phone. The displays are perfectly intact, even on the Galaxy S8 despite its thinner bezels. However, each phone's 7000 series aluminum does get an equally ugly scuff mark on its corner, making it a tie in round number two. Round number three, face drop. Three, two, one. Oof. All right, so both phones get their displays cracked after that phase drop. The S8's damage is mostly contained along the left side of the phone without too much spider webbing going across the screen, whereas the iPhone screen has spider webs all over the place. On top of that, after going through our 10 point inspection that we do after every drop, we found that the rear camera on the iPhone just stopped working. It literally wouldn't show us anything when we we're trying to use it, indicating a loose connection or damage to the camera module with even the flashlight failing to turn on. The selfie cam was also affected, mainly due to the cracked glass on the front, giving the Galaxy S8 the clear win in round number three. Bonus round. Okay, so with both phones still technically having a fully functional display, we enter the bonus round, where unlike in the past, we'll be dropping the phones from higher up at four and a half feet compared to just three feet, which should be a better test of each phone's shock resistance. First up is the iPhone 7. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. All right, still working. The touch is working, so uh, let's do it again. There's no way you hear that. That thud. Ooh, I see glass everywhere, but it's still working. Jeez. Ooh, something happened on screen. Oh, the display started to give up. Oh. Oh, it's disappearing. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think this thing's done. So the home button works, but yeah, the screenshot. So after three drops, the iPhone 7's internal LCD cracked, making the screen completely unresponsive to the touch, and the damage just kept getting worse and worse the more we tried to use the phone. Let's see if the Galaxy S8 can do any better. Three, two, one. <laughs> Still good. Three, two, 
one. Spider web been going everywhere, but uh, it's still good. Okay, I see glass flying everywhere, but the phone is still working. Three, two, I think, I think it's still good. Still going, wow. So with the higher drop height, we figured 10 drops was more than enough. Clearly, Samsung has done a really good job here. After 10 consecutive drops, the S8 is still technically fully functional. However, the glass on the front is now in really bad shape, with some chunks of the glass missing at the edges. And unfortunately, it seems like the initial damage on the back that the S8 took in round number one has gotten significantly worse with spider webs now going all across the back. All right, so with four rounds in the books, let's take a look at the scorecard. In the first round, the iPhone easily beat out the Galaxy, earning a near perfect score. Score. The phones tie in the second, the S8 dominated in the third round, and knocked out the iPhone in the fourth, making the overall winner the Galaxy S8. That is it for me in this video. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.